Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert. Now, gear review heaven this week before we shoot over to LA for the NAM show next week. Um, so we're going to start with this thing. This is a microphone, obviously. I'm talking into it right now, and it's the mic I've been using for the podcast for the last couple of weeks. This is by newcomers to the microphone scene, Aston Microphones. This is the origin, the first of their line. Um, and it's very, very different. Doesn't look like many mics I've ever seen before. Um, I'll whip it out of its shock mat in a minute. But this thing's very, very cool. Firstly, designed in the UK. Secondly, built in the UK, which is really, really good. That whole British sound thing's really coming back. Now, um, Aston microphones are the newcomers, but they are born off the back of the whole SE microphone range. So these guys know their onions when it comes to microphones. Now, this thing's very, very cool. Um, there's a few points that make it a bit different. Obviously, there's a large diaphragm condenser capsule inside there behind this kind of waveguide shield thing which does some really cool stuff, which also means I don't need a pop filter. There's a kind of, um, what I'm going to call a wire wool type mesh thing in there as well, which means hopefully no P's or B's or plosives get through there, which is very, very nice. Controls wise, it's really, really simple. We've got a 10 dB pad on this side. We've got a high pass filter on this side. Um, it's got some cool things about it. It looks kind of funky. The actual styling and the finish is really, really lovely. It's got this kind of... Um, I think it's kind of tumbled in stone, I think is the phrase they use. Um, it's lovely. Sounds really good. The great thing is the price is incredibly competitive for a mic of this quality. I think it's coming in at about 199 UK pounds at the moment for this baby. It's fixed polar pattern. There are more mics to come in the range from Aston Microphones. But for now, this is what you're getting. It's quite lovely. So what have I done? I've put together a track using um, two acoustic guitar, kind of steel string acoustic guitar parts. Uh, a nylon string lead part, some shaky stuff, and some vocals. I thought this thing's pretty much going to be, price point wise, aimed at the kind of singer songwriter, singer guitarist, vocalist, that sort of thing. So I thought I'd put together a track around that sort of idea. Um, I'll build it up track by track, and then we'll play the whole thing at the end. So here we go. Track the first couple of tracks are going to be acoustic guitars. The first three tracks, in fact, are acoustic guitars. Um, you can see exactly where I put the microphone. Exactly where I've set it up. Um, the shock mount has to be said is not by um, Aston. This is actually a Ricoh shock mount. It comes as part of the deal. So everything you see from there to there comes in the package. There's some really cool stuff about this thing. I'll show you around it as we go through. But um, yeah, the important thing about this mic is it sounds really good. Whether you compare it to mics of a thousand quid, two thousand quid, ten thousand quid, it still holds up. Still sounds really, really nice. So yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy the track. We'll come back a bit later and we can talk about some more about it. There you go. This is the origin by new boys on the block, Aston Microphones. Now, one cool thing I haven't really demoed in this thing is this kind of waveguard thing. Um, watch this. You can deform it. You can mash it. Now, the cool thing is, because you can just shape it back together, it's a really useful kind of protective housing and protective device for the capsule inside. Nice little feature. I kind of like it. It's kind of funky. Um, I don't suggest anyone does go out and drop these things, but it's a beautifully made, beautiful looking piece of kit. 
So I'm expecting this thing to do really, really well, um, certainly given its price point, certainly given the quality that's coming out of this thing. Um, and I look forward to more mics in the Aston microphone range. But for now, I'll leave you with the whole track mixed. There's still no EQ, no compression, a little bit of limiting compression on the master bus, but that's it. The whole thing, um, it's only short anyway. You'll recognize the track probably. So um, yeah, hope to see you again soon for some more gear talk. the world.